Then I met a girl, and she sure seemed nice to me, and the weird thing was, I seemed nice to her, too. Yeah, we seemed to be getting along just fine. Kind of similar taste in music, similar ambitions in life, similar hair color, and I started thinking, why? But I was going too fast, and she kind of put the brakes on, and that kind of scared me, so I retreated, and I just let her go. If you love somebody, free, free. So basically, I set her free, I set myself free, I got myself over it, I didn't get too depressed, tried not to, tried to put it out of my mind, tried to move on with things. And I did a pretty good job at it, but I've had a lot of practice. I've gotten my heart broken and stomped on in six ways to Sunday, year after year, you build up a little set of tools you can use. Get over it, move on. So, but one day last week, or now, uh, Saturday night, I was hanging out with an old friend I hadn't seen for a while. We went to high school together. We had a comedy group. We pulled best pranks in school history. They were good natured, they were clever, and they were well executed. Those were good days. Anyway, so I was hanging out with this friend of mine, and we went to go see a show. Starting to teach me we've known in the old days, even older, uh, older days than the ones I was just talking about. See, we go back ways, go back 22 years to 1984, so I can remember. So we go to this show and we stay after and we wait for the teacher and unfortunately he doesn't remember my friend too well. Tell me your name, he said, shaking his hand. Maybe he didn't remember, he just couldn't remember the name and was honest enough to just say, please remind me who you are. So my friend said who he was, and the guy said, well, it's nice to see you again. And it was a good old talk, but after two minutes it would run its course, and I looked for signals like that. So I let him go so he could mingle with other people, you know, he's the guest star of the show and all. So my friend says to me, hey, send me out, get a cup of coffee, get something to eat. I said, that sounds real fine. So we turn to go. We get a couple steps out the front door. And I see a flash of movement behind my shoulder. Herself. I know I haven't seen her since July or August or something. And I said, You look well. And she said, So do you? And she said, What are you doing? And I said, Oh, you know, I guess. And she gave me a little hug and I gave it right back. And a little surge of pride and that I could tell my friend was standing there going, who is this gorgeous girl who was giving my friend a hug like their old friends do? And what was he doing griping to me just last night about how he's never with anybody, he doesn't have no girlfriend or nothing, and look at this girl, look at the way she's looking at him, and the way they're talking, and clearly something's going on there, and I don't even know this story, and he this hadn't happened, he wouldn't even told me about it. After a minute of small talk about everything but what was hanging in the air, she said, you boys have fun, and we said, thank you, ma'am, we'll be running off. And so we went home. And of course, my friend asked about her. He said, well, do you ever, like, officially, like, ask her out or anything, you know, because, you know, sometimes a girl wants a little romance, and if you don't give it to her, then she starts to feel insecure and stuff, and did you 
you ever ask her out? Come on, did you? Did you ever ask her out? And I was like, shut up! Mind your own business! And so later he was like, okay, oh, touched a nerve there. Seems like you really care. You wouldn't be so bent out of shape over. What exactly are you bent out of shape over? Uh, not sure what to tell him. But I, you know, told him about the things that made me glad and told him about the things that made me sad and told him about the things that I thought were a little on the questionable side. But it was clear from all these different stories that one thing that was sad. Being with her was quite a ride. that night and thinking about her and thought about her all through my dreams too. Got up the next day and thought about her again and that night went to bed thinking about her and got up the next day and thought about her some more and the next day after that and now it's four or five days on and I'm still thinking about her all the time. That's that story anyway.